In CSGO there's a pretty cool feature where some of the camos in the game are randomly generated and I've been working on a first person shooter in my spare time and I was thinking how can I implement this into my own game. So today I'm going to show you how I made the randomly generated camos just like CSGO does. Okay I'm going to start by showing you guys the material because that's pretty much where all of the work is really going on. So here I have the texture for Case Hardened. It's just a, an image, I just found this on uh, Google Images. And then if we open up the material, the material is real simple. We're just taking that image and plugging it into the base color. However, we've got this going into the UVs. And what this allows me to do is pan the material. So here I can change the U and V tiling to basically pan the material. And I'll show you what that looks like. So if I change this to say 0.5, check it out. You can see that the material pans, it changes, right? So this might not seem very exciting initially, but what this allows me to do is to get a completely randomly generated camo every single time. Okay, so check this out. Here we've got the Uzi, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and change these values, the UNV tiling. I'll just come up with a random number, so 0 0.457 for the U tiling, and we'll change the V tiling to be 0 0.899. Notice that by changing these values, I completely randomize the camo because I'm shifting the texture around and so it applies to the gun in a different way, giving us a completely random camo every single time. So all I need to do now in my code, and I've put this in blueprints just to make it easier, is we take the gun camo that we're using. For example, here I'm using Crimson Web, which is another camo, uh, but if I type in Case Hardened, I can show you that one. So we use the case hardened camo and we create a dynamic instance of that. That just allows me to change those values, the U tiling and the V tiling. So you can see we're setting the U tiling and the V tiling to a random float between 0 and 1. So that will completely randomize the material and then finally we just throw the material onto the gun. And so the final result of this is if I play the game here you can see I've got the case hardened camo and let's go ahead and close and reopen the game and you can see that every single time that I begin playing the camo is completely randomized. And if you want, you can save those randomly generated numbers so that the player has the same random camo every single time they play the game. The Umbra Editor allows you to do all sorts of crazy stuff. Here is the Crimson Web camo, but it's got a pan applied to it. And although this may look kind of complex, all we're doing is just using this node called Panner, which handles all of it for us. Right, I know this was just a short video, but I just wanted to get something out there. Uh, I am planning on making a series soon, so hopefully this will hold you guys over until I release that. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later.